Howdy everyone, it's your buddy BP, back at it again in Dark Souls last time we were here. Uh, we went through Sen's Fortress, not all of it, just enough to uh, unlock uh, Big Hat Logan, who's over there. I went ahead and bought most of his spells, except of course for Soul Spear, which is like 40,000 souls now. We'll worry about that later. You may notice, however, our Crestfallen buddy is gone. He's actually down in New Londo. I was actually... Uh, while I was rendering the last video, I was planning on going down there and into Blighttown to do a little bit of, uh, maybe some grinding. But, uh, then I noticed he was gone, and I was like, oh, snap. He's down in New Londo, and he's gone hollow. And I didn't want to kill him off video. So, we're going down there right now to address this issue. There he is. There's our crestfallen buddy. Wow, that comes out quick. Goodbye. And that's all she wrote. We, really, we just get a thousand souls for killing him. That's all there is to it. Dang. I was planning on coming down here and, uh... Like I said, grinding in Blight Town, because there is some stuff down there I forgot to grab. Plus, the leeches are a really good place to grind for, uh, large Titanite shards before heading over to New Londo, but... Oh well. We can do that later. I believe in the last video I was, uh, saying we would go back and finish Sen's Fortress, but after careful consideration, I decided that uh, maybe it'd be best to just go ahead and knock out the catacombs and get them out the way. Also got some new spells. So I might want to go ahead and just remap anyway. Well, no. I think fall control would be pretty uh, pretty useful, but... There'll be uh, definitely moments where we can make use of that, but... Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's hold on to what we have right now. Oh, and of course we haven't spoken with Framped yet. I'll have to buy the pyromancy, uh, Pyromancer stuff too. And there's another Pyromancer down in uh, in Blighttown now that we beat Quaylag. We'll have to go speak with uh, her later. But yeah, since Framped is here, we might as well go ahead and chat him up. Ah, hello. Was it you who rang the Bell of Awakening? I am the Primordial Servant, King Seeker Framped. Close friend of the great Lord Gwyn, chosen undead, who has rung the bell of awakening. I wish to elucidate your fate. Do you seek such enlightenment? I definitely did not expect that voice to come out of that face, but... Okay, yeah, sure. Very well. Then I am pleased to share. Chosen undead, your fate is to succeed the great Lord Wind, so that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anor Londo and acquire the Lord Vessel. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? Yeah, and we can, uh, feed him items, which is basically our way of uh, just selling stuff to him, but we'll do all that later. Those who seek the realm of lords must brave Sen's fortress, a deadly house of traps. Many have gone before you, but none have returned. Fate has chosen you, but proceed with caution. Those who seek many fate... Okay, I guess that's all he has to say for now. Chosen undead. I remain here and await thee. Hmm. 
Alright, well I guess we're going back down here. You may notice I changed my equipment around a little bit, but... It's alright. I actually get a little bit more physical defense from, uh... <laughs> from that ring than I do from my uh, body gear from the um, shadow armor and I can still uh, quick roll so yeah I went ahead and uh, removed Havel's ring and just used that for a while I'm uh, I'm content with this and since we have a blessed weapon we'll be able to kill these skeletons and uh, keep them down still gotta be careful though Yeah, see, he's getting back up. Mm. Yeah, see, when he makes that stance, that means he's getting ready to um, repost you, or parry you, rather. Really? Okay. I guess he was like, eh, I'm not gonna do it this time. Oh wait, never mind. Yeah, actually I will. Stupid jerk. Just for good measure. Because there's another bonfire around here, but... Skeletons are super annoying. Ow. Okay. Be difficult, then. Thanks to the sword, they won't be getting back up. Definitely won't be getting back up when I'm done with this guy. There, and these guys don't respawn. And if I kill all of them, I'll get a skull lan uh, lantern. Hopefully by the time I'm done with this, I'll get two, which is good. Because I can trade one into Snuggly for a very useful item. Go ahead and kindle this one for good measure. There we are. Good. I still have my catalyst equipped. Come on. Okay, well, I didn't mean to hit. <laughs> okay. Happy accidents. Ow, jerk. Don't be doing that to me. Wait, there's stuff on you? Oh. That wasn't worth the trouble at all. <laughs> That's right, you better run. Isn't there another skeleton around here? 
good, bah. Yeah, if we didn't have this blessed weapon, this would be a freaking headache. Knock that off. Where are you, Pyromancer? Come on. These Pyromancers, like, they enjoy running like cowards. There you are. Oh, wait, that's just you. I think you went the other direction. There's an item over here that we went past. I don't know if it's something like we necessarily need, but... Let's go ahead and take care of the, the skeletons first. You know, sometimes the backstab counts and sometimes it does not. Thought that would be enough. There we go. Jeez. Yeah, we weren't really going to be using that. Oh well. Not going to make a big issue out of it. Guy. Guess there was a second one. Another useless shield. Oh well. Oh well. Hmm, more of these exploding skull things. Let's see if we can lure him away from, from there so I don't have to deal with these exploding skull. Uh, there we are. Whoa. What should we do with that? Whoa. Just hiding right behind the trap. Stay dead. Can't remember if any more of them have uh, those spikes. All right, consumable soul. Is available now. Let's see if we can lure the skeletons away. All right, there's one. There's the other. Now we can address our, uh, this pyromancy douche nozzle. Come on. Alright. 
anything in here? Mm, no. <laughs> he gets up and is immediately stabbed in the back. Well, that's just sad. Or that's just Dark Souls. Hold on, that's a trap. There we go. Got to approach it at an angle. go down that way just yet. I really do not. Ow, dick. I can try something. Yeah, you're not gonna parry that, are you? Finally decided to cooperate after I had to shoot him about three times. Wasn't there anything else in here? I can't remember. And goodbye. Kinda took care of himself. Here we are. That's right, it's this way. It's kind of easy to miss. It's kind of a really uh, cramped corridor. The other bridge. Technically, I could go down that hole and get straight to the boss. Straight to Pinwheel, but um, I hate that. Thankfully, it didn't do too much damage. But I don't want to do that just yet. I want to take care of all the, uh, the necromancers down here. In fact, hold on. I don't think I have enough for a uh, level up, do I? Nah. I can go ahead and kindle this uh, bonfire, though. Alrighty. Mm, yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. my strength some more. I want to see if I can at least get it up to 34. So it's going to take a little while, but... Damn it! You got to get that just right. It's annoying. I don't care much for it. There, I knew there was uh, another one. Whoa! He kind of took me with him. And he took care of himself. <laughs> ah, I just remember there's uh, another covenant down here as well. Mm. Wasn't there a third one?
<laughs> I got all these arrows sticking to me. Hey there, buddy. Goodbye. Really? Okay, that's not at all what I wanted. And of course, that's when you want to do your little parry stance. Right when I'm doing my attack. God, you deserve to have that happen to you. Alright, let's take care of these archers. They are... They are being a pain in the ass. Stop it. I can't remember if there was anything up here. Uh, I guess not. I guess I just wasted my time. Alrighty. Oh, hey. Three strong attacks. Dark Moon Seance Ring. I believe that gives us more attunement slots. Doesn't it? Where is it? Oh, I was looking right at it. This ring is granted to adherents of Gwendolyn, Dark Moon Deity, and Lastborn of Gwyn, Lord of Sunlight. Grants additional magic attunement slots. Yep. The Dark Sun Gwendolyn is the only remaining deity in Anor Londo. His followers are few, but their tasks are of vital importance. That description kind of uh, spoils something, actually, when uh, when we get to Anor Londo. Perhaps uh, I'll remember to bring it up when we get there, but that's going to be a while because we got to do this, and then we got to do... Sen's Fortress, and after that, oh, that's right, I knew there was another path in here, and then we make it all the way through Anor Londo. I'm trying to remember what's up at the other end of this, maybe it's like a spell or something? You're kidding me, die! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Interesting how they actually have um, messages uh, in this part that were just built for the game. They're not from actual players, they were just part of the game. A little weird. I guess maybe they figured it's kind of hard to see ladders and stuff in here anyway because of how dark it is. Oh, I can't believe I forgot that. Tranquil Walk of Peace. That's a miracle, isn't it? Yeah, it's a miracle. So we're going to need it to uh, to complete the, the trophy for miracles. So, uh, ooh, almost fell down there. And we can't, like, just buy it anywhere. I think this is the only place where you can get it. Let's go ahead and lure these... these skulls away.
Okay, I think this might be the path we need to take to uh, get to that one covenant, but it's going to be very dangerous. Here we are. And now we just gotta wait in here for a little bit. Yep, just wait. Very, very patiently. Hmm. Sure does take a while. It takes longer than it takes to uh, get back to the undead asylum. Here we are. Here's the place. All the way down in the Tomb of Giants. This is also where we're going to be fighting Nido later, but that won't be until uh, quite a ways off. And there's Nido himself. And we're going to go ahead and enter the Covenant, because he gives us some stuff that we need. I think he gives us a spell that we need for the, uh, for the uh, trophy. We can just switch back at a bonfire later if we need to... Yeah, there it is. Gravelord Sword Dance. And we get the uh, Gravelord Sword, too. We don't. I don't know if we do need that for an achievement or not. I'll have to go and check. Uh, maybe you do, actually. But yeah, we need that stuff. And we can offer him Eyes of Death, but eh, another time. Really, that's all I wanted to do. I don't think we have nearly enough strength to wield that sword. Ooh, we actually do. And it looks like it does poison damage. That is interesting. That is scale quite as well, and I bet I, I'm fat rolling, or medium roll. I'm trying to remember, does it take Demon Titanite? Is that what it takes? I can't quite remember. I'm not quite ready to give up my, uh my straight sword just yet. We're still gonna need it. Alright, back in the coffin. Hopefully it won't take, uh, yeah, <laughs> nearly as long going back. There's a Titanite demon in that, uh, other room we were in. And I believe he's guarding a, uh, a ring of sorts. We might get ourselves killed. If I remember correctly, this one Titanite Demon is, uh... He's pretty tough. But I'm just dumb enough to risk it. <laughs> After that, we can proceed with the, uh, with the rest of the game. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Yeah, there he goes. Oh no, it's just three eyes of death. That was not worth it at all. Holy crap, we dodged him. We kind of got lucky. Let's keep running our asses off. Here we are. Got a soul. I know there's some skeletons down there. Some spooky, scary skeletons. There we go. Okay, I'm just making sure that Titanite demon didn't follow us here. I can't remember how aggressive he is. Isn't there a second one? I can't remember if there's a second one or not. There is, but he didn't bother coming up for whatever reason. Yeah. Well, I guess we could go down. But, uh... 
I think I'll do that in a moment. I think this is the last of the necromancers down here. Alright, I'm taking way too much damage. He's the last of them or not, actually. Just die, you dick. That one skeleton was being super annoying. Alright. Oh dear. Wait, that wasn't a backstab? That wasn't a backstab? There we go. Uh, I'm too fast for you. We got a great axe and a white chunk. What's this? Soul of a proud knight. Huh. Maybe that is the last of the necromancers. That's a bit uh, a bit unfortunate. I was kind of hoping they would have uh they would have dropped me a uh, skull lantern. Alright. We're gonna need this for this next part. Down here are some of the worst enemies in the whole game. And I don't feel comfortable addressing them without uh, proper gear. Those things do a lot of damage. They chase after you aggressively as hell. And there's a bunch of them. And somehow one of them got themselves killed. Happy accidents, I suppose. Alright, guys. Brace yourself. It is time for the hardest boss in the game. Oh my god. Here we go, guys. Wow. Okay. Okay, guys, let me tell you. Pinwheel? He's a scary dude. He is easily one of the hardest bosses in the whole game. And he's actually... Hold on. I'm trying to be sarcastic here. Okay, I need you to kind of... No, I do not want to die to pinwheel. Partially because I've let myself get overrun here. But I forgot to take off this heavy-ass armor. I'm trying to be sarcastic, but I forgot. Oh my god, I'm so slow down here. Which one's the real one? I wonder if they made him a little bit more aggressive. It's kind of always been a joke that pinwheel is like super easy. 
Oh wait, that's the real one. It's always been a huge joke that pinwheel is like stupid easy. But he's been a little bit more aggressive with the clones than he has in the past. And he's a little harder to hit too. There we go. There we go. Yeah, normally he's not as aggressive with the clones as I remember him. Normally you can just pretty much rush him and kill him in a few seconds. But, uh... He was getting a little nuts. Hey, we got the uh, trophy with the uh, and we got mask of the father. He was getting super nuts there with the. Uh, there's a the ladder with all the clones, and I was so slow because I forgot to take off this armor. I really should have just switched back to my lighter armor and just rushed them. Whatever. What's mask of the father again? Uh, increases, ugh, increases, increases, uh, equipment load. Okay. Is it enough to do this? Nope, <laughs> not that much. I am out of juicy juice. Whoa, 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 oh, oh, and I got myself killed. And I lost all those souls. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Now I gotta go all the way back down there for him. Oh my lord. That that was the dumbest thing I've done yet. I I was kind of hoping I would have gotten my uh, skull lantern by this point. I always get one after killing the last one. And I don't know, maybe they changed that for the remaster? Maybe they didn't? I don't know. At least this gives us a chance to kind of do this. To go uh, unlock the alternate route. Don't do that. Please don't do that. That's an asshole thing to do. And there's a second one down here. Oh lordy. Lordy, lordy, lordy. I'm trying to remember how to do this jump right. I'm about to lose about 20,000 souls here, guys. So brace yourself. Come on. Come on. Come on. Real? You are so oh dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Oh. I just lost 20,000 souls and... I really have no one but myself to blame. I should have looked up that jump before I attempted it. Oh well. I mean, I'll get plenty of opportunities to get those souls back once I get to Anor Orlando. There's a really good place to grind for souls over there. But yeah, I'm kind of pissed. I'm kind of not happy. I, I deserve to have that happen to me. I knew the risks and I took it anyway. What I'm really upset about, I, I don't, I'm not even worried about the souls. What I'm really upset about is I didn't get my skull lantern. They pretty much almost always give me one when I'm done killing all the. Um... Thank you. When I'm done killing all of the necromancers. Come on, nope, nope. Holy crap, that worked. That's what I should have done before. They 
gone with you. You'll spoil my focus. That recording of his voiceover sounds really, really bad. And hey, they finally put a, um, a bonfire down here. I think we would pay a visit to him later, but... Need some snipping, then produce me some waves. Might as well. He doesn't have anything we necessarily need at the moment. He doesn't have a lot. I'm here to smith, not to chit chat. If that'll be all, then be gone with you. You'll spoil my focus. Alright. Well, I guess I'm doing this again. Because I need to go back down there. Because there's more stuff down there. Not my souls. Not my 20,000 souls. I lost those. Damn. See what I mean? They're aggressive as hell. If I didn't have this stone armor on, I would have been dead by now. I really would have. I don't think they follow us down here, though. Man, it really sucks ass having to do this without, um... And it feels like it's even darker down here than it was before. Ugh. You know what? Why not? Let's try this thing out. There's a bonfire down here. And there's a baddie right there. Wow, that thing comes out real slow. Maybe I should stick with the, uh, come on, with the straight sword. It does feel like they made this part of the game like even harder to see than it was before. There's an item there. Do I really want to bother? And I'm dead. No, wait, somehow I'm alive. So it's probably not going to be like that for long. Good job being an asshole about it, game. Yeah, I see the bonfire over there. This asshole following me? He is. Or he's trying to make an attempt to do it. There's a ladder here, come on.
Ugh. Yeah, might as well. I think Patches is just around the corner. There you are. Good day. Good day. You look reasonably sane. What are you doing in the catacombs? Are you a cleric or something? No? Really? Hmm. Then I'd have no qualms telling you. There's a fine stash of treasure right down that hole. I found it first. Well, we're friends now. So I'll split it with you. In any case, have a look. It'll shimmer you blind. <laughs> oh boy. Treasure, count me in. Soul of a Proud Knight, more soul, and finally a Skull Lantern. Ugh. There we go. This is what I wanted. Normally those Necromancers drop them after you kill them, kill a few of them, but they didn't do it this time. That was really frustrating. I was kind of counting on that. You're no hollow, are you? Thank goodness. Please be careful. There are two fierce hollows not far from here. They were once brave knights, my former escorts. Who would let such strong spirits be hollow so? Heavens, is there nothing? Nothing at all to be done. Kind of locked out there with that repose. You're gonna bring out the douchebag stuff, huh? Really? If he didn't do that force move, I would have killed him. That is such a shitty thing to do. I really am not happy I did not get that second skull lantern. Like I said, I'm not... Oh, it's you. Oh, you. I... Well, let's just calm down. Talk about Phil. I did you wrong, but I didn't mean it. These temptations, they can, well, overcome me. You know what I mean, don't you? Please, forgive me. You and me, we're jolly undead outcasts, aren't we? Yeah, but only because I need him alive later. Oh, brilliant. A second chance. Wonderful. I had a feeling you'd understand. I did. But, uh, if I were in your shoes, ooh, who knows what I'd have done. But now we're friends again. Hey? 
Yeah, we'll be seeing more of asshole patches later. Oh shit, these guys. I forgot they were down here. God, he's not going to give you a moment to recover. I think I'm going to die again. Whoa, the camera kind of freaked out on me. I don't think this is the direction I want to be going. I really don't. I'm not sure it's too dark down here and I can't afford to leave my shield behind. Yeah. I don't think that was the right direction at all. It's been a while since I've been through this part of the game. Not a big fan of Tomb of the Giants. The whole everything is super dark angle is really just shit. I should have just used fall control and gone back down there. Oh, that's right, I don't equipped it. Yep, there he goes with the douchebag shit again. Move, please, damn. No. Please tell me he did not just heal. There we go. There's one. Ugh. I did not like having to cheese that, but this part of the game is just so frustrating. You banished those two hollows, did you? It pains me to think of the trouble my failings have caused. I am certain that both Vince and Nico are grateful to you. Thank you so very much. Here, these belonged to them. You deserve them more than I. I am certain that both. Thank you. All right, and we'll be seeing her again later. But now I do. I really just want to get out of here. I mean, we'll be back here later, but this screw spending any more time down here than I would prefer. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, Lord. Forgot how many of these annoying things there are down here. Guess we got a Titanite chunk out of it. And there we are. I think there's a uh, there's another ember down here. I can't remember if it's a divine ember or what. I'd rather go ahead and pick it up while I'm here. I'm trying to remember what direction I need to go to get it. That's where I came from. Yeah, there's nothing over here. Yeah, I guess this is the only way through. Ah, uh, that's where it is. This is probably super dumb. fast roll. Yeah, this is going to be super dumb. Nope. 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 Oh, come on. There's like a dozen of them down there. It's the dumbest shit. And the ember is all the way back there at the end. This is just one of the worst parts of the game. They just put a dozen of those little bastards in there. souls. And I fucked it up. Nope. Nope. Large divine ember. Now I can go ahead and get destroyed. There we go. Forget the souls. Forget the fucking souls. You have to go through all of that just to get that ember. It's like it's designed for you to die. It really is just stupid. Ugh. I'm ready to leave this part of the game now. This part is trash. Like, basically this and, like, all of the, the demon ruin stuff and Lost Isolith... They are just trash. I'll take Blight Town any day of the week over all this. Get out of the way, damn. Is there anything else over here? I knew I I went through here, but I'm trying to remember. Here we go. Climb, please. God damn, make sure you take all day doing it. Ugh. Please, Lord, let me out of this awful part of the game. I guess I'm switching back to the tank armor again. Ugh.
No, it doesn't work like that. Stop doing that. Annoying piece of shit. Get off. Hey, more garbage parts of the game. Ugh, get me out of here. where Pinwheel was. Oh, God. I know there's some items back there I could have gotten, but, eh. We'll, we'll get them later. We'll have plenty of opportunities to uh, do that when we come back later in the game. No, please don't do that. You have got to be fucking kidding me, really. We're, we're, we're really going to do this. We're really going to do this. We're really going to do this. Thank you. Jeez, I, I did not like that one bit. This part of the game is just awful trash. At least I'm at the, uh, you know what? I ain't risking it. I'm kindling this bitch. I'm not risking anything at all here. I did not want to have to respawn back there in the, uh, in the tomb. Okay, please don't, uh, maybe don't do that. And I'm dead. I totally forgot exploding skulls were down here. You know, a lot of people complain about Dark Souls 2. They, th they say that it's not quite as good as Dark Souls 1. And, you know, not every single idea that they put in Dark Souls 2 was the best one. But, I mean, you gotta admit, there's... No part in Dark Souls 2 that's nearly as obnoxious as, like, Tomb of the Giants and Lost Isolith and all that. Like, I'd, I'd say, uh, like, some of the area design is far less aggravating than, uh, than the worst parts of Dark Souls uh, 1. Except for maybe, um, except for maybe Frigid Outskirts. Frigid Outskirts is, uh, just one of the worst things they've ever done, but thankfully that's like a... That's a DLC area, and it's like an optional DLC area. Like, you don't really have to do it to beat the game. You can totally skip it if you want. So, yeah. I think Dark Souls 2 gets a little bit of a bad rep from, um, from the Dark Souls community. I think there's a lot of good things about it that just, uh, a lot of people just seem to overlook, I think. 
I mean, yeah, there are some things about Dark Souls 1 that make it a, a better game, but there's times like this, or times like these, rather, when I'm playing these parts of Dark Souls 1, and I'm like, you know, Dark Souls 2 wasn't so bad. They didn't have nearly as many annoying parts of the game as Dark Souls 1. And, like, Tomb of the Giants, and, like, these, like, skeleton wheel guys, these bone wheels, or whatever you call them. Yeah, they're definitely one of those things that, like, that I just dread having to deal with whenever I, uh, whenever I play this game. Get out of the way. And you just got me killed. Because the way targeting works in this game is beyond fucking stupid. Yeah, some about targeting in this game. It just really fucks up your controls. Please stop that. Really? You're gonna do that? Out of the way. Holy shit. Thank you. I think I'm done with this part of the game. At least for now. I'll come back down here later. Holy dicks. I can go ahead and unequip this. Oh my lord. I do not like that place. That is such a not fun part of the game. Anyway, back to the uh, to the shrine. Technically, I don't need to use uh, the straight sword down there now that I've killed all the necromancers. Now they'll just stay dead. But whatever. What the hell ever? Oh my god. And I think that, that'll that bring us to the end of this video. Like I said, I'm not even really all that upset about losing the 20,000 souls. Losing souls is just something that happens in the game. And I'll get a, an opportunity later in the game to get all those souls back easy. There's like a really good grind spot in, uh, in Orlando, but... Oh my god, like, really, it's just not getting the second Skull Lantern, and, uh, and really just Tomb of the Giants is just dirty ass. It's really just one of my least favorite parts of the whole game. And we still gotta go back down there later to fight, uh, to fight Nico. Ugh. But, you know, at least we killed Pinwheel, and we got the right of Kindling, and, um, and, you know, we got the other trophy for the Covenant, and all that good shit. Uh, and, uh, you know what? I wonder. Since we already rescued, uh, Petra. I want to check on that. Because she sells us miracles. Oh my god. I look like a... Like a freaking meth addict. You're so freaking hideous when you're undead. Come on. There she is. Hello. I will never forget what you did. I am deeply indebted. For it was not within my power to save Vince or Nico. I cannot thank you enough. In case you have not heard, I am Rhea of Thoroughland. I only wish there was some way I could help you. But I am inexperienced and I only know the art of miracles. If that could be of any help, speak to me again. And we will do that later in the game, because we need to buy her miracles to complete a trophy. But you know what? I think I'll grind for that later. 
between now and the next video so you all don't have to see that because we kind of got a, like a window of opportunity to buy her stuff otherwise we might lose it and then I'll have to do it again in the next playthrough which I, I really don't want to do that <laughs> so until then leave me comments and all that stuff make sure to tell me how, how bad I am at the game uh, I've never said I was good at Dark Souls so I just like playing it <laughs> and yeah that does it um, see y'all uh, later y'all be good to each other alright See you in the next video.